because we hit 1,000 subscribers on the channel, I'm going to be giving away this Titanium White Sub-Zero to one lucky winner. It's really easy to enter. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, leave a like on the video, and comment your platform and username down below. The winner will be announced when I finish my Nothing to White Sub-Zero series, so best of luck to everyone. Alright, alright, I get it. You guys always ask me my nothing to some things, how do I find trades? So here in this video, I'm going to be going through the best 5 places to find trades. If you are new here, make sure to go and check out my nothing to white sub zero trading series after you've seen this. We're about halfway through so far, and after I've finished, I'm going to be giving it away to one of you guys. But yeah, if you do find this helpful in any way, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe with notifications on as it really helps out the channel. Also, the majority of the tips are for all platforms, so you should learn something here no matter what platform you trade on. But without further ado, let's get into the first place to trade. Okay, so for the first place to find trades, we are heading over to RR Garage. Now, you've probably heard of RR Garage at some point, and in my opinion, this is the best place to find trades. So if you don't know what RR Garage is, it's a website and it's also an app. So for you people on your phone or tablets, you can also download this on the App Store or the Google Play Store. Yeah, if you watch my Nothing to Some Things, you've probably heard me mention RR Garage in at least five times an episode. To a benefit of RR Garage, it's probably the most active place for you people on Switch and PC. It's very active on all platforms. You can get trades from seconds ago if I go over to Switch. So a lot of people do use this on Switch and PC. So for you people over on them platforms, this is probably the best place for you to find trades. Myself, I'm on Xbox. I use this all the time. People on PlayStation as well use this all the time. Yeah, it's very active. Thousands of trades get posted on here every hour. So a lot of you guys are wondering how I get really good deals. And if I underpay for any item like a black market or a, a non-crate exotic or something like that, 99% of the time, it's going to be from here, our old garage. So, I will show you what I do. So, if you want to sell your black markets, what I do, I'd make your own post rather than replying to someone else's. Because a lot of people over here, I'll show you an example. A lot of people over here lowball. So, I'm trying to think of a black market on top of my head. Let's just go with Heatwave. So, all I've put into the filters is we have Heatwave and we want offers. Or we have the item. And if you look, a lot of people do this. This is what I do if I want to get underpays. I make posts like this where I list all the black markets on the right. And then list all the credits on the left for an insane underpay. So, at the moment, Chameleon is 600 to 700. This guy's trying to buy it for 500. So, this is what basically all I do. You buy black markets for 100 to 150 below the minimum value, depending on how well it sells. So, if you want to sell your black market, you're going to want to make your own post. Because if you say Heatwave is worth 1,900 to 2,000 on Xbox at the moment, people are offering like 1.7 or fire garden 200 and it's like it's not worth it so if you want to sell your black markets try and look for mid to max value either one you should be able to get it this is what i do i make posts like this so people that just want to quick sell their black markets they'll come to you and you can get a black market for 100 credits below the minimum value and that is how i make most of my profit in my nothing to somethings but i'll show you what i do i am going to block my name out because this is my nothing to something account but this is basically what i do i just have say i have credits on the left and say i have black markets on the right so i'll show you i literally just do this with all the black markets. I even got like Jordan Dragons, White Interstellars. I'm trying as well in my nothing to something. And all the gold explosions as well. Like I'm buying them for like 100 to 150 below the minimum value. So this is going to be a quick spoiler for my next nothing to some video. So up here is like up of here. What I'm about to show you now. There's a lot of items I've currently got. So I like list all the crappy items on one post that are worth like 100 credits at most or something like that. And eventually it'll get offers for these. And also in the description, this is a quick tip I've learned from Zenik. You put you say you will accept item overpays because then people can also overpay if they don't have credits. So Parallax and Interstellar, I'm looking for 450 for the Parallax, which is currently mid-value, and 1450 for the Interstellar, which is currently mid-value as well. So you're going to want to make your own post if you want to sell your black markets rather than messaging someone else who has created their post because they'll want an underpay. But yeah, all you have to do if you want to create your own post, you go up to on your profile, you go to my trade, and then you click new trade here. You put your items on the left and their items on the right. So for example... Let's just say, because I've got Parallax at the moment, as I've shown you before, you search Parallax, uh, here it is, you say that, and then on the right you can put credits, and all you have to do is go over to here, click on the credits, go into amount, click 450, and bang, you can just list it as easy as that. The only slight downside I've got about our garage, the only negative thing i got to say about it is the downtime on this place, that yeah, there's quite a lot of downtime. Like, a lot of the time, I've loaded my Xbox up, I've loaded onto Rocket League, I've got my OBS ready to record trades, I'm about to go into the trade, I go to go on RR Garage, and the servers are down. But to be fair, we can't really complain, they're offering us a free app, they're offering us a free place to find trades, so a few minutes of downtime isn't going to prevent me from using this. Alright, so next on the list, we're over on Reddit. So this is a website, if you're not familiar with Reddit, this is a website, and I'm pretty sure there's also an app for Reddit. So I'm currently on the website. 
I'm not going to lie, Reddit is something I never really use. This is not just with Rocket League, like, I just don't use Reddit in general. But I see a lot of people that trade on Reddit, and I actually might start using Reddit because... I've just had a brief glance through here, and it actually looks pretty good. So once you're on Reddit, there's many different subreddits you can use. The best one, the best one I'm pretty sure is one called Rocket League Exchange. That is the subreddit name. So you're going to want to go to new, because that's going to get you the newest trades. And whatever platform you're on, you can filter it by then. So for me, I'm, I'm, just, I'm on Xbox, so I'm going to filter it by Xbox. But there's a lot of trades on here where you can... A lot of people want very specific items, like Lime Hextide. When have you ever seen someone want Lime Hextide? It's very strange. A lot of like, specific certifications and paints people want over here. So someone wants the full Striker Pyro set and Burnt Sienna OEMs, Lime Invaders. Like, they're very specific things. Like, you can sell your items on here that... Maybe you can't sell on other places like RR Garage. Also, it's very clear to use. So you can create a post over here on the right. Alright, so I'm on the PlayStation side now. So yeah, similar to the Xbox, like burnt certified burnt sienna helios. Uh sweeper, titanium white sparkles. Like white sparkles is normal, but just sweeper, very specific. Saffron pyros, purple tactician reaper, lime aviator creepers. So say you opened a golden lantern, you got I don't know, juggler pink fidget spinners. This is probably a good place to sell them because there's going to be people that want them. There's a lot of older traders here that care a lot about the certification. And to create a post, I'm pretty sure all you have to do is go to create post and then just put in the text. So I can't remember what example I use exactly. So you just do have, I think it was like, I think I said juggler pink fidget spinners or something. And then you just put, I don't know how much they're worth. Let's just say 200 because I don't know how much they're worth. Probably something like that. And yeah, you just post it. And it's very easy to use. I can't post it because I haven't joined. But all you have to do is join, which is very simple to do. Yeah, or you just click this big join button and you're in. So a great thing about this place, there's a lot of moderators on this subreddit. So it's going to be very rare where you encounter a scammer. And if you do, I'm sure if you reported it, they'd get banned straight away. The amount of moderators on here are going to be very active on the subreddit. So there's barely any scammers on here. All right, so number three on the list, we're heading over to an iPhone and an Android app. So you can download this on the App Store and the Google Play Store. Now this is called RL Trading Post. So unfortunately, because this is on phone and it's not on the computer, I'm not going to be able to show it to you guys, but... I'll try and get some screenshots and put it on the screen for you guys. So RR Trading Post is very similar to RR Garage in that you can create posts, you can like reply to posts. It's very visual, whereas like Reddit you have to do a lot of reading. With like RR Garage you can just scroll through and see an item or whatever. And that's very that's very much what RR Trading Post is like. But I use this place a lot in my Nothing to Something, especially in my first Nothing to Something, which was Nothing to Join in Dragons if you guys remembered. I use this all the time and that's pretty much what I use. I use this still now. This is the best place to sell your limited. So like if you have like titanium white lit free for example if you list it on here and our garage you'll probably set it on here like i've just listed all of my random items on here so like rare decals painted trails gold explosions painted wheels from the rocket pass i just list everything on here similar to our garage i also list black markets but the issue with our trading post is with our garage you can make as many posts as you want and bump them as many times as you want as long as it's you just can't wait 15 minutes with our trading post to prevent spam you can only bump three trades every 10 minutes. So you've got to like choose carefully which trades you want to bump. Because at the moment I've got like six, seven trades active. And I can only bump three of them. One of the downsides I have with this app. Also like when you try to make a post and you try to change the quantity of the credits. It's very glitchy sometimes. But again, similar to our garage, it is a free app. And this never goes down for me. I, don't, I can't remember if this has ever gone down for maintenance or going down with server issues. I don't think it's ever gone down. But you can create posts. It's very easy. There's a big plus in the bottom right. This is active on all platforms as well so xbox playstation switch and pc every single platform is very active yeah i mainly use this for selling my hard to sell items painted black markets on here very good to sell very easy to get offers for painted black markets all right so the fourth place we're going to be using to find trades is discord and you can join different servers if you want you can go and join my server the link is in the description we've got about like 65 people in here 70 people in here and i've just set up trading on the server so if you want to join you can trade on my server as well but the main two you're going to want to use that I'm familiar with, it's Rocket League Insider, which are, again, I'll link all of these servers that I'd recommend you to use, I'd link them in the description, so, what you do, when you load to RL Insider, if you want to trade, all you have to do is react to one of these, whatever platform you're on, so, for me, obviously, I reacted to Xbox, and, yeah, I got, I've got access to all of the Xbox trading, so, what you can do with RL Insider, you can say what price you want, so, you can check the price of things, so, you just put exclamation mark price, and then, select your item and then it will bring it the price you go to trading underscore xbox or pc or whatever platform you're on but as you can see there's loads of trades here within the last minute so you make your own post and people will private message you and then you can do the trade from there or say if i wanted to do this trade here which just has black 20 x offers i can message him and we can
then arrange a deal. But yeah, whatever platform you react to on the welcome area, you will be placed into the, the market for that place. The second place I recommend you use is called Rocket League Hub. Again, I'll link this in the description. But again, because I selected Xbox, I've only got access to Xbox trading. So if you select a different platform, you'll get access to different platforms. Here, there's not as many trades listed, but it's still a very good place to find trades. There's a few thousand people in here, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, you should be able to find trades on here as well if you can't find any on the in RL Insider place. But yeah, them two are probably the best Discord servers to use. Alright, so the final one on this list is unfortunately Xbox exclusive, but, but if you're on PlayStation, you're going to want to go and join trading communities. They're basically like clubs. They're basically like the Xbox looking for group, which is what we're going to be going into now. But yeah, if you're on PlayStation, you're going to want to go on to trading communities and join them and you should find trades there. Final place to find trades we're going to be going into is the Xbox looking for group. Now, if you're not familiar with what this is, I'll be going into detail about it right now. If you click the home button, go down to Rocket League and you click this button, it's on the right of Rocket League and then you can go to official hub here. If you go over to multiplayer, this is what the Xbox looking for group is. It's just full of trades, like you can get trades like Dissolver, White Zombers, there's loads of trades on here. The one downside with this place is there is absolutely tons of scammers because there's no moderators running this place. There's scammers everywhere. But yeah, this is a very good place if you want to buy and sell black markets. That's what mainly this is for. But yeah, this is a place where you get a lot of scams like have Nissan Skyline want 500 credits, for example. Obviously, in Nissan Skyline, you can't trade it. But yeah, the Xbox looking for group is a great place to buy and sell black markets as well. So if we go up to the top, there's loads of posts on here as well. There's absolutely tons. So if you go to create posts, all you have to do is go over to description and then you could title whatever you want. So we'll use the example we used earlier. So have you just say have power, which is short for power lax, and then you just put up have 450, and then use the copyright symbol for credits. Or you could say just credits, obviously. It's like the unwritten code of what credits is, it's just the copyright symbol. And then you just click post and you're gonna post it. Very simple, very easy to use. Alright, so that is going to be it for me. I hope you found these methods helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe with notifications on, as it really helps the channel out. Also, go and join my Discord server if you want. The link is in the description. But yeah, I hope you found these helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.